Well, is the monkey man something that... So Jordan Peele didn't direct that. Monkey man! Monkey man! All right. From Monkey's Paw. Oops, that's not what I want. Okay, yeah, I don't know what it is with my computer's being fucked. My computer's like, what do I do? I don't know what to replace or upgrade. And I don't have enough money right now to just get a new computer. Thanks for the sub, Hundy. I just don't know what to do. Uh, uh Monkey Man. Damn it. Pissed. Close your eyes. And you will find. Repair shop? It's not broken, though. It's just slow. I could just wipe the whole thing, but that would be a fucking day and a half. When I was a boy. I like the percussion. I thought it said subtitles. Okay, there we go. When I was wait, do I have this? Wait, I'm gonna try to do the key. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city. Is that the right key? Let's find out. When I was... Let's listen. Got it. Got it. For memory, got the right key. All right. That's all I wanted. Mother used to tell me a story of a demon king and his army. My father... He wouldn't stop touching me. They brought fire and terror to the land. Um, it seems all right so far. I'm not sure what to think. Until they faced the protector of the people, the white monkey. So who directed this is my question. Let's find out. Why does the poster... The poster just reminded me of Barbarian. <laughs> it's not It's not the same, but it did... It definitely just like the red and door sort of thing. Oh, wow. Turning my ad blocker off. I didn't even know that they'd put ads when you just open in a new tab. The fucking image. Wow. It's a whole new world. Sign up for YouTube Premium, everybody. No ads. All right. Um, Monkey Man. Directed by Dev. Okay. Interesting. Well. You are a beast. From director Jordan Peele, whose previous movie the also people. featured Give me the job a monkey. To do. I'll do it. What? If anyone who forgets their beliefs, it doesn't turn out well for them. That was graphic. I liked that effect. That was a good um, practical shot. Ew. Ew. Great. That's awesome. Damn. Gonna have to censor that, maybe. Because that doesn't even look like CG blood. They probably... Wow. I can see... I can... You can see how this um, ashtray is kind of built to collapse and fall apart. Like, when you're doing it frame by frame, obviously that's not the experience of the movie. Um... And I guess the blood there was either it might be just like in a like packet on his head because it looks like one continuous shot. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think it's two shots spliced together. I think they just had like a little blood packet on its head. They probably needed to do this a few times to get that 
with the blood like oh yeah and also the motion of his head the like swooping kind of scraping was probably just so that the blood showed in the foreground for the camera that's that's a cool effect i like that wow and then like the the f motion of it it's sped up so they did this they did this much more slowly than we're seeing it that's definitely sped up but that's a really interesting effect i like that i wonder if that was like <laughs> i bet you could you, an interesting way to do this i'm just sorry i'm thinking about this practically Wow, that's so cool. You could do this in like a stop motion kind of way. You could do this frame by frame if you really wanted and then just add motion blur. Anyway, it's a cool effect. I like that shot. This is not the place to work if you can't handle that sort of stuff. Every day. <laughs> this trailer is kind of goofy, but... <laughs> Just, you know, just modern. I've prayed for a way to protect the weak. I've got an answer to every prayer. I call her Nikki. Minaj. Big bumper. Nice headlights. Let's boogie. Okay, I'm not that into the comedy, but we'll see. All right, so we're getting like Indian action movie, basically. But like Americanized, I guess, modern American Indian action movie. It's self-aware. He tried to go through the window. It didn't work. I'm not completely sold on this. I'm not completely sold. There's things I like about it. But is this his first feature, Dev, as a director? Let's see. He's directed two shorts. Interesting. Raborski. An animated short. Okay. With a pretty good rating on IMDb. Oh, and he co-directed that. And then Home Shopper was his first short, which he directed by himself. Got a decent rating on IMDb. Okay, so people seem to enjoy his shorts. Um, oftentimes, a directorial debut, you'll see like shorts listed on IMDb that have like five point something and nobody saw it. But he does have some name recognition, though. You need to fight for your mother, for all of us. I would say that, like, based on my impressions so far, it looks decent. Just not, like, mind-blowing. It's. A, I would say I'll watch it. <laughs> if, it, if it were at a film festival, I would watch it. But given that it's probably not, not... Not saying, ooh, the fact that it's in a film festival would make me want to watch it more, but the fact that, like, if I were seeing it at a film festival... I would be committed to my ticket. I would be buying the ticket way ahead of time uh, before like any sort of buzz is out about it. Whereas when it's not at a film festival, you buy your tickets pretty close to when you watch it. And by that point, there's already been some critic reviews or like it's already released in a couple of other cities. And if it's get if it's getting lukewarm, I don't know if I'm going to watch it. You know, if it's getting lukewarm reviews, then I'm like, eh, I don't know. there's nothing about this that speaks to me on a personal level, so that I wouldn't go out of my way if it gets like a mid reception. I'm quiet to the soul, of my son. Don't call me son. It's a it's an interesting spin, I guess. It's time to remember. It, it has an interesting flavor to it. But only love kills more when will they learn? Just one small ember. Was Dev Patel in the last Airbender? <laughs> 
So yeah, it's trying to be like fucking John Wick, no, but like especially looking at the hard coded stylized subtitles. That's a that's a little too it's a little too John Wicky, you know. There's everything's feels there's one action movie every like decade or two that every action movie for the next decade or two just tries to be. Isn't that weird? There's always like one, like how everything tried to be Die Hard for a while. It's it's so weird how like just every just be your own thing. I don't know. It's 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 more interesting if you're inspired by something that not everyone and their grandmother is also making movies inspired by. You know? I would rather see I would rather see an action movie inspired by like something that someone hasn't done for like 50 years. You know? Or something that was great but like barely anybody saw or like something that's like really difficult to pull off. You know, there weren't a lot of action movies that that you could directly say were trying to emulate the raid or the raid two, because that th those films are so complex with their choreography and so difficult to pull off. And the choreography is really like what makes those films and like the, the uh, scope and scale and style, etc., wasn't as much as of that. But there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of hey we're doing John Wick but this. There's a lot of that. Man. Are you ready for a fight? Char it's the District 9 man. Charlto whatever his name is Shartlo? Char Shartlo. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> it has to be Charlto cuz Shart Having shart in a name, I feel like I would have made fun of that already. One, two, three. Shartlo. <laughs> Shartnado. <laughs> Damn, someone's got to make... The director of Human Centipede has to make Shartnado. <laughs> See, the choreography is just, it's not as good as John Wick, and so it's kind of killing itself being pretty obviously, like, we're doing John Wick, but, like, with an Indian-American flavor. And it might be set in actual India, but it feels like a very Americanized Indian movie, you know? It's all, it's all right. It's, it's, it could be watchable. I don't think it's gonna blow my fucking mind. Yeah. It looks all right. I mean, uh, the trailer's doing a lot of lifting. This could be a real, if I were to guess, this would could be a real like six out of 10 movie or five if the story sucks. If they pull some bullshit, if they pull some bullshit, it could be like a five or lower. But it looks, it looks like a six out of 10 movie from what I can tell. We'll see. We'll see what it's like. It's n there's no guarantees with that though. Um, I'm not even gonna watch list it. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of wait to see. And if there's no buzz or anything when it comes out, I'm probably just not gonna watch it. Hey everybody, Olivia here. Thanks again for watching. It's February 2024, so let's go over the Patreon credits. My $5 and up patrons are Speak of the Joker, Silver Wind, Toby White, Scott S., Joan of Fart, Skinot On, Happy the Knife, Coolest Shirt, George Salazar, www.openclassactions.com, Emil, Blank, Judum the Kinslayer, T-King, Saliv88, 
Electrica is an ordinary bad gamer. Yup, yup, yup. Caden Mack, the Super One player, Zachary Kane, Gilly Flower, Purple Fire, Gabriel Herrera, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Let me just say, you guys are all awesome. I was caught off guard by how many people left kind comments after last month's credits. It makes me happy to see people being so accepting. You guys are also, like, way too sweet. I'll admit I was a bit nervous at first about adding this avatar to videos, but it looks like I've mostly gotten positive feedback. Also, the post-credits talk in last month's video have given me a bit of an idea. Sometimes when Adam reacts to things, they're not long enough for mid-rolls and don't make as much revenue. So I think from now on I'll do like a bit of a Q&A segment after the credits. Just leave a question in the comments below and I'll pick a couple to answer in next month's credits. They'll be easier to find if my name is in the text somewhere. Also, if you have any fan art, you can send it to my email right here and I'll feature it in the end credits, as long as it's safe for work and relevant to YMS highlights. Take care, everyone, and thank you all for your support.